Each of us has been in the traffic jam at least once. Personally, I hate being late for school because of tedious drive through a morning crush. Every, all these people in their cars who want to be first to honk while they, when they see green light, uh, they uh, establish, they stress every participant of the road and establish bad mood for the entire day. Uh, however, all the uh, traffic jams are, t are, are, are harmful for people. They can be even more damaging to the environment. Every, uh, each car emits around 10 liters of carbon dioxide per day, and there are about a billion cars uh, on planet today. It sums up to around 10 uh, billion liters or 200,000 tons of carbon dioxide. This amount of carbon dioxide is equal to a uh, mass of the entire football stadium full of people. And the main problem with the carbon dioxide is um, it is the main cost of global warming. It creates shield which uh, captures heat on, on the planet and that is why ice is melt and uh, we hear all those terrible news like uh, the hottest summer ever or drought destroyed corpse. However, we do not think that this problem is our own and thus uh, uh, carbon dioxide emissions increase more than ever. So I have created a program. Uh, this program is an algorithm which can decrease amount of time spent by cars on roads and uh, by this uh, decrease amount of carbon dioxide emissions on crossroads. Um, I think about this project every time I go from uh, school to home and I see large crossroads with a lot of cars and they uh, spread all over the street and uh, they uh, stand and it's harmful to environment and to people who walk through this crossroad. Uh, moreover, cars don't even do work while they stand. Uh, so my program is uh, divided into three different but uh, connected parts. Uh, first of all, mass trips on the road. These uh, strips, they detect cars, their number, their speeds and their masses, and they translate this information to computer. And this step need, is needed for, uh, for, uh, for further steps. Uh, so, second step, uh, when computer uh, gets all information about roads, so all numbers of cars on each direction, their speeds, their masses, it calculates their momentums. Uh, for example, uh, here we have two roads. On one road, we have five cars, let's say, with uh, average speed of 50 kilometers per hour and average mass of five tons. And we have another direction, vertical direction, with also five cars with also average speed of 50 kilometers per hour, but its average mass is 10 tons. Uh, and by calculating their momentums, we can see that vertical direction has greater momentum, and that's why computer will let vertical direction first and then it will let other direction to go through the crossroad. Uh, finally, a uh, chain of computers. So when the first uh, crossroad gets a number of cars, their speeds and their masses, it transforms, translates this information further to other uh, crossroads so they can rely on this information and make their uh, calculations faster. It may seem that my algorithm is perfect, but it has uh, some minor imperfections, uh, such as this algorithm doesn't include uh, other participants of the road, such as people or uh, uh, social transport. And uh, uh, also this uh, ch uh, system of chains of computer is not perfect yet. However, I, um, I work on improving those, uh, this algorithm and I have already a uh, prototype of a program which include all participants of the road and it has already chain of computers. Uh, all in all, I th my program is working and it al already does a job. It has already decreased time spent by cars on crossroad by 20% in computer simulations. And, uh, I have, and I work on innovating and uh, improving this uh, program. Um, I think that this pr uh, project and other projects which are designed to help environment are crucial for humanity. I think that collaboration and innovation can and will save the planet.